Cooper Marcher here. I could not be more excited if I tried. And I have the most exciting news ever. Brace yourselves. <laughs> I have applied for the fall term at the University of Vermont. <laughs> I don't want to, I didn't want to tell anyone anything so as not to get my hopes up. But my scholastic aptitude test, better known as the SAT, scores were so good. I don't even have to complete high school first. Can you believe that? If I get accepted, I'll be able to do my studies from home. They can make certain exceptions for me since apparently they don't have a lot of feline students. Who would have thought that? <laughs> so we will work together to make the best possible arrangements for me to attend. You know how panic stricken my mom gets if I leave the house. So this is, will be perfect. It's a good thing I'm a Vermont resident because the University of Vermont is an expensive school. Also a very nice school, I might add. Here come the paparazzi overhead. You can probably hear them. Hear that? Oh, wait, this just in. Fortunately for me, if I get accepted, I will be getting a full scholarship from Pooper's Litter Company and no litter box is ever too big incorporated. I'm so grateful to them. Don't you worry, I shall continue my teaching duties with you, my fellow felines, and your humans. You can count on me. I'll need my mom to help with my schoolwork from time to time, but let's face it, I'm a lot smarter than she is already. The University of Vermont is a public land, public land grant research university in Burlington, Vermont, which is considered one of the top ten cities in the country in which to live, I might add. The college was founded in 1791 and is among the oldest universities in the United States, as it was the fifth institution of higher education established in New England a mere 15 years after our republic was officially formed. It is the seventh oldest medical school in the nation. It is also listed as one of the original eight public Ivy institutions in the United States. It is classified among are two doctoral universities, which means high research activity. Andrew Harris graduated from the University of Vermont in 1838. He was one of the first African Americans to attend and graduate from university in the U.S. Today on Central Campus, there is a common area and a statue dedicated to this heroic and brave man. Through the many years, the University of Vermont has displayed a firm level of equality and fairness. In 1875, the university became the first in the U.S. to grant women entry in Phi Beta Kappa Society. In 1840, Henry Jarvis Richmond graduated from UVM. Just 11 years later, he founded the New York Times. Considered one of UVM's most famous and successful alumni, Mr. Raymond started one of the most world-renowned newspapers. The University of Vermont was also the first college in America to declare public support for freedom of religion. You should Google the university because its campus is beautiful. Wish me luck. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.